What is going on, my fly guys? Welcome as we turn back with another video, and today we are back with the PPU. You know, it's the match everybody's been waiting for: the Boston Braviaries versus the Milwaukee Milodics, and we're just gonna see: are they in a battle? Yes, they are. Anything look wrong here? Ooh, where's his? No Mega's being brought. Jeez, unless it's a Mega Blastoise, but I don't think the Boston Braviaries has a Mega. So we see that both teams brought some. Your full mons. I mean, we got the Chandelure. I know some of the Milwaukee Milotic strats because I kind of helped him a little bit with his team. Like, he told me and I said if they're good or not. It's not like, oh, yeah, bring this move and this move and this move. Alright, so he leads off with, um, Diego. He's probably just going to Volt Switch against the Drapion, who is going to set up the Toxic Spikes. I mean, he has no way of removing Hazard to Milwaukee Milotic. Because he... I don't know. He didn't bring Primplup, and that was like his one way of removing hazards. Probably because he has Milo Tick this match. He wanted to bring it. So, oh, he reads the Volt Switch, and I think that might be choice um, Raikou. So, the Crocodile came in safely, and it didn't show off Intimidate. So, wow, wow, that did a lot of damage, and that's probably a Rocky Helmet variant of Girothorn. That Earthquake did 30%. That's crazy. Alright, so... That's... He switches back into Drapion on the Gyro Ball. Uh, Alright. So I wonder if the Fear Thord is actually going to set up any hazards at all. On the Drapion, who could just safely set up some Toxic Spikes. Uh, so we're going to see what they would want to do here. Um, I mean, he... The Boston Bravies do have Rotom Heat if they need to. The taunt is real. I did not see that coming. I did not remember. I should have known that Dravian got taunt. I mean, it's a dark type. And now the Toxic Spikes are getting set up. I don't know why Milwaukee Milo Ticks would stay in as their Gyro Ball is only doing 30%. It would need it's a 3 hit KO. So he, st he still stays in. I mean, it's going to be a roll, I think. If he goes down, I mean, it's been doing 30%. So now this is this is where the Boston Braviers has to make a decision, as he just lets it go. Down. He's probably using Roar, and Roar has negative six priority. So Rotom does come in, and if I were the Boston Braviers, I would go for the Volt Switch right here because he's probably gonna switch into Shandy, as as the Flash Fire. Yep. There we go, and yep, I read that turn. That's Specs damage. That has to be Specs damage. Because that is crazy. That play was a little obvious, but what else can you do? We're re reading the flash fire. Ooh. So now this is a really cool play on... Um, ooh, is it going to be speed tie? It might be a speed tie. He gets the flame orb trick. Oh, that is dirty. Yep, I knew that was going to happen. That is a really dirty play by the Charlotte. Oh, whoa, I almost called them the Charlotte Chandelures. I don't even know if that's a team. That never was a team before. But yeah, that was a really filthy play. As the Dragonite is still going to set up an HP Ice. Oh, wow. It's not looking good for the Dragonite. As the first Mon goes down at turn 10. So now. Gyro Ball will probably kill the Dragonite from that rate range, as it has times two speed. Earthquake does get a crit, and that's only a little bit, and the Dragonite goes down. That's a huge threat out of the way for Milwaukee Milo Ticks. Alright, so let's see what's up now. Chestnut comes in. What's a Chestnut going to do? Sub Focus Punch? No, that's third gen strat. Oh, the bulk up setting up because this is just setup bait. Oh, yeah. If I were to my Milwaukee Milo Ticks, I would switch out right now to Aroma Tissy. As it goes into Diego. I mean, you can't really use Shadow Ball. Hidden Power Ice is only going to do so much as it's only 60 base power. I don't know what they want to do right now. And he shows the auras here, which...
I don't think that even affects the chestnut. Because that's bulletproof, right? And that's a ball move, right? Because it's a sphere. Immune, yep, there we go. Huge mistake on the Milwaukee Milo Ticks part. Huge, huge mistake. Letting their, um, right could go like that. So Kataro comes in and it's toxic, so it does have defense up now with Marble Scout probably. And Chestnut is put on the timer! Alright, because now it's toxic. Kataro can now safely switch out into Aromatissi, who can now just be a cleric and, you know, do some stuff like Aromatherapy. As the Chestnut, I don't know. Oh, he actually goes into Wow Heart Whale. Reading the Leech Seed? Probably. Alright, so I wonder what's going to happen here. Because Chestnut's going for a Drain Punch to get back up to full, but Iron Barbs, Rocky Helmet, and then the Toxic Damage, which is stacking up 18% already. Alright, now, yeah, he could safely go into that stupid mod. If I were him, I would go for a heal bell or aromatherapy rather to heal up the team. Things aren't looking too good for the Milwaukee Milotix. Ooh, as his only sweeper left is Garchomp. He's got to go for a Moonblast right here, and the Boston Brave Viewers have a perfect switch into Rotom Heat for that. He's just gonna stall. Uh, all right, he's toxic stalling. That's cool, I guess. Just moon blast and kill it. I mean, yeah, you're slower, but you're gonna get the kill. It's fine. Or is he gonna go for a wish then a moon blast? Or just go for a wish, right? Because the toxic would have taken it out that turn, I think. <clears throat> Unfortunately, Chestnut misses the leech seed on Sassy, which you know it's all right. Blastoise can safely come in and go for a rapid spin to help the Rotom heat out. And Sassy could just, like, wish pass to someone. Or just switch straight into Katara. I mean, sure, wh whatever. As, yeah, there's the rapid spin. Alright, so now it's a 3v3. The Boston Brave Bears team quite untouched, and Katara a little weakened at, like, three quarters health. Alright, so the Toxic is already put onto Katara, so yeah, he's gonna throw out the Toxic, and Skull is not gonna do anything. So, they're both put on a timer here with the Toxic. And now we're at like a little stally match of the part of the match. Because two bulky, bulky water types are on the field. As he switches and into Sassy, probably to get to Aromatherapy for some odd reason. To, because once Milota comes back onto the field, it's going to be toxic. But also it heals itself, so maybe. Just maybe. And the switch into Rotom, here we go. This is a pretty big part. I don't know why he's going for Aromatherapy. And... <laughs> this aromatizzi has nothing on Rotom as he throws out the trick. Oh! Oh, that was pretty big. Now Rotom is forced to switch out into Blastoise, who's gonna. He still tricks. Choice Specs and Choice Scarf. Wow. <laughs> he was stuck in the trick and he's staying that way. So now we have a Specs Garchomp. Draco? Show the Draco? Probably not. But wow, that's pretty big. And he switches back into Blastoids on the Dragon Claw. You see, if I have a choice, Dragonmon like Salamence, Tyrantrum, Garchomp, Dragonite, I would rather have Outrage over Dragon Claw. Because you're stuck into the move anyway, so. And that would have done a lot more, like. Blastoise would have been dead by now. Scald is doing big damage. And if I were Bruce, I would switch out. Because that Sharknado isn't doing anything. Blastoise is probably going to swap. Oh, no. 
All right, I was wrong. Yeah, Bruce is not looking so hot. Maybe if you get a wish pass up. Is he just going to sack it? I wouldn't. Or would I? No, because he can't even safely earthquake, so I don't know. It's going to be a big decision right here. Crocodile is probably Scarf, actually. So, yeah. Dan the Great Gamer joins. And there's the Scarf Moxie setting up right now. What? Hmm. I guess that works because you have Marvel scale. But yeah, that's still doing monstrous damage. And he misses the Toxic. Just throw off the Scald and try to burn it. Like, wow. Why would you even go for a Toxic that turn? That is pretty big. I would have just gone for a Recover anyway. That is not... Oh, he's a special defensive wall on the Sassy. Not a physical defensive. That's game. That is game. That was a big mistake on the Milwaukee Milo Six part. He blew it late game. But Crocodile, the Scarf Moxie, just sets up and wins. How is it BS? The Toxic did not matter whatsoever. Stop being a whiny little bitch. Ah. Alright, but yeah, that is game right there. As the Boston Braviaries do win, and not even a good game. Wow. Well... That kind of sucks. It kind of sucks a lot that the Milwaukee Milo ticks, but he made a huge misplay to going for Toxic instead of Scald. That did nothing at all. I don't know why he would, if he could have thrown out the Scald to try to burn the Crocodile, but no, he goes, to Toxic does nothing there. And I'm getting a call from Milwaukee Milo ticks, so I will see you guys next time. And this concludes week one, battle one, so yeah.